Okay, I just got back from a bike ride and I thought, what the hell, I'm going to make a video about all the crap I take on my bike with me. So, start off there, there's a helmet, gloves, glasses. Helmets these days have all these vents in them. I mean, it's high tech, looks cool. But all those vents let a lot of air flow through while you're riding. Then it's got the little visor on the front. And that just gives you a tiny bit of shade uh, for your eyes when you're riding. And they got these oh, locking mechanisms more or less in the back that keeps it from riding up on your head. Keeps it from rocking back and forth. So uh, This is even on the cheap ones these days. So it's kind of nice to come a long ways. Yeah, I, I wear sort of photo gray glasses, the kind that adjust with the daylight out there, so they look clear in here, but they're dark outside. Um, and that little thing there on the end, that is a mirror, and it, you know, you're looking off on that, and you can see behind you, see if the car is coming up behind you, and that sort of thing. So very nice to have. Here's my tail light, and it's. I just use the LED part and it flashes and I, I think I've been on the same set of batteries for about three years. This is a battery pack that leads up to this headlight here and it puts out a pretty good light. I think it's about 10 watts and that, oh I used it for about 50 minutes tonight and it's still plenty strong so it'll last a good while. Uh, that's the speedometer, you know, see, so I went 28 miles tonight, and it tells you lots of cool things like, uh, like your average speed, which mine is pretty slow, 11.7 miles, uh, there's my max speed, I went 36 miles down a hill somewhere, 21.28, that's, uh, military time, of course, got a water bottle here, most people use a water bottle cage, I've got this velcro thing and I kind of like that. So you bicycling shoes. Uh, the nice thing about these in particular is velcro straps. Don't have shoelaces flopping around getting caught up in the chain. Uh, had that happen too many times and it's dangerous as all hell. So I really like having the velcro ones now. Now bike shoes are made so that you can attach um, cleats to the bottom that lock into the new style of pedals but I don't use those, I don't like them so I'm still considered old school because I have these what they call toe clips and you know so my foot goes in here and that keeps my foot on the pedal and everything while I'm climbing hills and everything there's something you don't see on most people's bikes is kickstands personally I love them but uh, all your racers and everything, they don't want any dead weight on their bikes. There's my new seat. You know, I broke a seat rail the other day, so I had to get a new seat. And again, here's the modern technology. Got a nice groove here, and you know, that gives you a nice place to relax your hemorrhoids. And then a uh, little cutout here in the middle so uh, your gentleman parts can rest comfortably. And this one's even got little air vent things to direct airflow up there and you know cool your nads while you're riding and I ride with this big old trunk bag see I've got a rack here on the back of the bike and again extra weight but I keep so much crap with me there's a bottle of lube just in case something starts squeaking and I need to oil it uh, back here is where I keep my wallet and my house keys. Over on this side, got a patch kit and a spare tube. So, uh, you know, I can just change out the tube for a quick repair, or if I want to take the time, I can actually patch a tube out on the road. Um, this is my wind vest. It doesn't take up a lot of space, but it, you know, if the wind comes up and it's 
too cool. It's nice to have, but actually I'm just using it as an insulator for my second water bottle in here. Because usually my camera sits right back there in the back of the bag. And I keep a second water bottle back in there. You can hear that ice in there, even though I've been gone for three hours. It's still very cold because I've kept it wrapped up. And then the bag is just a big rubber insulated liner as well. Let's see. Got my cell phone in there. Got a spare headlight just in case my battery runs down on the other one. Baggies for picking berries or for putting things when it rains. Full film canisters are great for carrying change because you never know when you're going to run across a vending machine. That's a bicycle pump for airing up tires. And this is a cool multi-tool. They've again gotten very advanced with these. Yeah. It's got all these Allen wrenches on it. It's got a tire tool for getting your tire off the rim. And it's got screwdrivers and all these other cool things. And, you know, I'm not sure, but I think this is the same exact one that Pee Wee Herman uses for his bicycle. You know, so I'm very proud to own it. Emergency food rations. These are uh, generic Pop-Tarts. Uh, one time, um, I was on a bike tour and I pulled some of these out to eat and a guy said, oh, the poor man's power bar. And, you know, I'm pretty sure he meant it as an insult, but, you know, who cares? They are, they do the same thing as a power bar, and they cost about a quarter as much. Spare chapstick, just in case, because you don't ever want to be caught with that one. And again, more plastic bags, just in case it rains. Got another secret compartment up under here. What we got in here? Suntan lotion. Got to put that in a bag because it leaks. It's a holy mess. And acids. Those things are probably several years old, but I'm not fussy. So first aid stuff, including bandages and ibuprofen. Uh, oh, ETP, Charmin. I've never actually used that, but uh, it was just like a perfect roll size to carry my bag, so I bought it. <clears throat> well, we got it. This is a uh, plastic shower cap from a motel, and what you do is, if you're going to be inside somewhere and your bike's out in the rain, you can put that over your seat, and it, your seat's dry when you have to get back on the bike. There, rechargeable batteries. In case my camera batteries die, I'm prepared now. It looks like I need a new bag for those because that just fell through. And um, some towelettes in case I get my hands dirty on the chain. This handy dandy bag also has another zipper that can be undone, which allows the bag to raise up and expand and that way if I find a bunch of crap out on the road that I want to take home with me I just pop the bag up higher and then if I want to take my jacket off I can roll it up and strap it in here and cinch it down with this bungee cord so I mean this is a pretty handy dandy thing but you know by the time I haul all that crap around with me this bike weighs a ton and I get pretty good workout because of that.